Hi there, and welcome to this live session about how to get motivated to practice face painting. My name is Lilia, I'm a German-based face painter, and I'm here today to help you grow as a face painter. Before I tell you my secret about how to get motivated to practice, <laughs> I want to emphasize first how important it is, how important it is to practice. It's really important to practice because only then we can improve. And we really have to improve, right? If we do things the same way all over again, we get really bored. It's so boring, right? Imagine if you paint the same flower and the same style of flowers for years. That would be so boring, right? Or just if, you, if you've been working for a face painter for one year and you only have 10 designs and you do them all over again. That's so boring, right? <laughs> so our brain is actually designed in a way that we get bored if we don't improve. We really want to improve. We want to change our environment. We want to, we have hope for a better future, right? And therefore, we always strive for improvements. And if you learn something new, you're happy, right? Imagine if you get a new tip on how to improve your butterflies. We all love our butterflies, right? You would be happy if you improved it. So yeah, this is why I wanted to emphasize it's really important to practice face painting because then we can improve. And if you're like me, you already know that you should practice but you just can't get it done. <laughs> that was me last year because I really, I've been working as a face painter for six years by then and I never really practiced at home. I only practiced on the job. <laughs> so yeah, I did improve by that, but that's not the ideal way, I think. And um, yeah, so I figured I should try to practice face painting on my own at home as well, but it was so hard for me because I would, I, I'd have to done it I'd have to do it on my own with nobody around me. I don't have really, I don't really have face painting friends, me like not in my city. I do have colleagues and we work well together, but we don't hang out and practice face painting, which is a shame actually. <laughs> but yeah, there was nobody around. And if I'm all by myself and I'm telling myself to do something regularly, I just, well, I'm really bad at practicing. So yeah, I got a tip from somebody to join, that's my little secret, to join the monthly challenge called Inspiration to Paint. Let me know if you've heard of this already. Um, it's basically um, a challenge monthly and it's on a Facebook group. It's called the, the group is called Inspiration to Paint, of course, and it's only for face painters. And basically you paint every day for a whole month and post a picture in the group according to a specific theme every day. Okay, so when you sign up, you receive a chart with a theme for each day. So then you choose your design according to what's on the list. I think that's pretty cool. So let's say on Monday, it says you have to paint a flower design. On Tuesday, you're only allowed to use the color blue. On Wednesday, you have to paint something with the letter G. That was in April, actually. Or on Thursday, you have to decide between a dolphin or a shark. It's really cool. It's very motivating, I think. And they're also like, don't worry if you can't make it every day. There are also some grace days where you can just, you know, there are free passes to use if you miss a day uh, because life just happens, right? So, um, and then if you use those grace days, you will still be allowed to be qualified for a price in the end. Yes, there are prices. I'm not sure what prices because I haven't won anything yet. Um, but yeah, and there's also, which I find really great, there's also another group where you can post your questions and um, yeah, you can have conversations and stuff. That's called the group Inspiration to Paint Family. And it, it really, it really is a family. I posted all the links down below so you yeah, you can check them out later if you want. Um, let me just read out what the admins of this group say about the challenge. The whole point of the group is to inspire you to practice and paint as often as possible. So if you miss a day or two or five, <laughs> keep on painting and posting as often as you're able for the month. And I really, really like that, right? It's so inspiring. So there I noted down some things I really found positive because there's so many and I just wanted to share them all with you. So first of all, it's totally free, right? You don't have to pay, you don't have to pay anything. You don't have to pay an instructor or getting fancy classes. Um, it's just totally free, except for that you, of course, you have to buy paints if you don't have any yet. Right. But I guess if you're a face painter, you do have some. So um, and also it's so positive And so the community is very encouraging, like um, it's free from any negative criticism. Actually, it's not allowed to criticize. 
unless somebody says in the in when he posts the picture of the day he says uh, constructive criticism is wanted right then you can of course criticize but people don't really do it it's just there to encourage each other and it's such a great community i love it and um yeah it's really inspiring because you have themes and you don't have to think about what should I paint today every day, right? Of course, you still have to figure out how, like what design you should do, but you have a theme. And therefore, I find it much easier for me to think about something I can paint. And um, yeah, also you get uh, approve approval from others. Of course, you don't paint to get approval from others, <laughs> right? Because you're just practicing, uh, you're just practicing for your own. But um, it's really nice to see all the comments, like somebody says, oh, I love the colors, or wow, well done. It's so nice, really encouraging. And um, the worst case scenario, don't worry, the worst case scenario is that nobody comments and nobody likes it. But to be honest, I never had it. Like I joined last month, it's not that long, but still it's like 30 days, right? And I joined and um, I've never had no likes at all. I think the lowest was maybe three or five likes. And you know, it's fine. You can. I mean, you can always blame it on the Facebook algorithm, right? And maybe that's even true <laughs> because it's really hard to catch up with all the posts. There's so many. And um, yeah. And also another positive thing is that you're not alone, right? You're not alone. You're painting together with a few hundreds of other face painters all around the world and on all levels. They're beginners and they're really pros. And it's really cool to see like... Okay, let's say um, you're intermediate and you see a beginner's post. Then you're like, oh, wow, yeah, I did improve. That's cool because sometimes you don't see it, right? Sometimes you think, oh, I'm not improving, I'm not improving. But then when you see somebody else's post, you think, oh, yeah, I know how to do this. And yeah, you know, and or if you see a really great post from an awesome professional Facebook, you're like, wow, so that's actually possible. That's so cool. I want to be like this, you know, it's really cool. I found it really inspiring. You get inspired by other artists and then you can also make new friendships. That's also what it's there for, right? You can comment on other people's posts and then you can also go to Inspiration to Paint Family group and just engage and um, yeah, it's cool. And um, you really learn how to, yeah, you really, it's really encouraging to practice your face painting, um, at least for me. <laughs> it's really exciting also because you can win prizes, as I already said. Uh, there's some mini competitions during the month as well. And there are also sometimes collaboration with other face painters. So you get a theme and then you you choose a partner and then you make something together. That's really cool. I wouldn't get to do that otherwise. <laughs> are you getting excited too? <laughs> I hope you are because um, yeah, I found it really, really cool. Um, let me show you how, like, let me tell you how to sign up for it if you're in, uh, interested. By the way, this is not sponsored. I'm just really on fire <laughs> to share this information because it really helped me improve a lot. So first of all, you have to join the Facebook group called Inspiration to Paint. Again, the link is down below. And of course, if you're not on Facebook yet, then you should join Facebook first and make clear that you're a face painter because this group is only for face painters. Um, and then also, so join this Facebook group, Inspiration to Paint, and also the group Inspiration to Paint Family because there's where there's lots of conversation and more information as well. Then you have to like the Inspiration to Paint post, uh, sorry, the Inspiration to Paint page on Facebook, and then send the admin a message that you want to join, and then you will receive a message with your participation number and all the other general guidelines and information you need. Um, one thing to notice is that you can't join at any time of the month. Um, Signups open near the end of each month, and if you're watching this live, actually, um, which, well, <laughs> this is my first live touch, so nobody's joining it. But yeah, so if you're watching this in a few, maybe one or two days <laughs> from now, and the signups for May 2019, they're still up until May the 3rd. So you still have a chance to sign up for next month, which I find really exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing you there, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so that was it. That was my secret tip about how to practice more <laughs> and improve your face painting skills through that and um, let me know if you think this is something for you um i'd love to hear that uh give this video a like if you liked it and if you know a face painter who could really use this as well as a motivation please share this video with that person and or you could also join together right that's even more fun 
And yeah, if you like this kind of videos, you can subscribe, subscribe for more tips and inspirations. Uh, that's that uh, little red button uh, to um, subscribe. And if you do, please click on the bell icon as well, because otherwise you will not get notified every time I, update, uh, I post a video. So yeah, that was it for today. Keep improving and see you again next time. <laughs> bye bye.